Niger's General Abdurrahman Tiani on Friday met with ministers after being declared the country's new head of state by coup leaders. It comes days after the leaders said they had ousted President Mohamed Bazoum over bad governance and worsening security. The current security approach has failed to secure our country, Tiani reiterated on state television on Friday. The developments in Niger mark the seventh military takeover in West and Central Africa in less than three years. TNE was also declared president of a newly formed military body called the National Council for Safeguarding the Homeland. The new leaders say that the council will exercise all legislative and executive power, with the constitution suspended and government institutions dissolved. African countries, Western powers and regional and international groups have reacted with alarm, insisting Bazoum be freed and democracy restored. Kenya's president, William Ruto. The Republic of Kenya joins the rest of the world to condemn in the strongest terms this unconstitutional act. The upheaval has raised security concerns in a region where Niger has been a key ally of Western powers, trying to contain insurgencies by groups linked to al-Qaeda and Islamic State. The White House's national security spokesman said on Friday the U.S. is deeply concerned by the developments unfolding in Niger with U.S. cooperation with its government at risk.